Imagine. From the loins of beautiful primates came prophets such as Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, the Buddha, and Lao Tzu. When we look at our evolutionary cousins, we look at ourselves in a beautifully preserved time capsule. That we evolved from apes, or that the universe is billions of years old, only deepens the mystery. How did our common ancestors give birth to the mystical sense within us? How did they learn to compose poetry, or speak in metaphors, or capture the sublime on a painted canvas? Look deep into their eyes. That the father of Jesus was not somewhere in heaven, but in the sperm of beautiful primates closely related to these, is one of the most liberating and joyful discoveries in human history. It means that we are not victims or pawns, but co-creators in this miracle called consciousness. That God, like us and like the universe, is still a work in progress. And that we have the miraculous capacity within ourselves to create a heaven within our hearts, to transcend our bestial natures, to love those who seek to harm us, to forgive easily, and to leave a gift for our children. This is the gift of spirit, the gift that invites us to participate in the great conversation across the ages. We find it in the most sublime art and music and poetry and religion. But if the religions that these animals gave birth to die, and many believe that they will, then what is left for us? And what does it teach us about the evolution of the human spirit? With all of our science and technology, why is it so difficult to be spiritual, so difficult to live in peace with one another, so difficult to practice what the old prophets have always preached? Our rational way of life has left us starving for the spiritual, starving for a special connection to the cosmos, a connection that the mothers of Moses and the fathers of Jesus still seem to cherish. How can the old prophets and ancient scriptures help us to reconnect with the sacred? How can we rediscover our lost spiritual world?